So you want to start selling on Etsy with print on demand and start making passive income online. But you may be stuck at a place where you don't know what type of designs you need to sell on your t-shirt. Well, in today's video, I'm walking through exactly my step-by-step -step strategy of finding trending products you can recreate in your own way to actually list on your Etsy shop and start making passive income with print on demand. We're going to go over everything in regard to product research, keyword research, how to design these products and how to actually grab some keywords you can use on your Etsy listing. I'm going to share with you all of this coming up next. Now our main source that we're gonna utilize for all of our print on demand products today is Printify. Printify is my number one place I go to for all of my print on demand products. They have a large category of products I can choose from and integrate that over to my Etsy shop where I'm able to sell those things there. And they have a large host of print providers I can choose and I can make my determination which one I wanna go with based upon the information that I see in regards to their product. Now Printify takes care of all the hard work for us. They take care of the printing of the product as well as the shipping and packaging of the product. And it really allows this print on demand business to be passive where we are only focusing on creating designs and getting our product seen with whatever platform we choose in our case today it is etsy and printify has two versions that i really think about is really helpful if you want to get started they have a free version where you're able to get your products up and running and list it and integrate it over to etsy and they have a subscription service that i personally use because through this i'm able to get each of my products at a discount therefore increasing my overall profit margins i'll make sure i leave all the details to printify in my description box below for you to see if this is best for your print on demand business to get your etsy shop connected to your printify account and integration go ahead and sign into your printify account if you haven't done that again i'll make sure i leave all the details in my description box below you want to go to the top where it says add new store head over to the screen here and then you will see different options to sign up to connect whatever shop you want to do shopify or walmart in our case today it is etsy so go ahead and hit connect and then it's going to ask us to log in from our etsy side because it says someone's trying to get in there and we know who that is it is printify as soon as you sign in here you can go down to grant access and now your entire account is connected to Printify. So for the first part of this video, we are going to focus on finding trending products we can sell in our Etsy shop. So what you want to do is jump into Etsy and do this in incognito mode as this would give you the best results and the most realest results in regards to what things are coming up for whatever search you are looking up. All right, so when we search up Valentine's Day shirt, one of the things I automatically look at is the level of competition. And as you can see here, it has almost a half a million search results coming up. So obviously, if we're just trying to sell, you know, just a Valentine's Day t-shirt, just a broad, you know, category for this product, it's too large. So one of the things I like to do is find the little micro niches, those things that's selling in low competitive spaces, but still have high demand. I wanna start actually creating these type of t-shirts in this space and bring something new to the marketplace. Now, the thing about trying to find best selling items is Etsy has took away the option for us to actually see best selling items. You can go in here individually and click on each of these listings, but one of the tools that I use to help me quickly find items that are selling well, I go and use the Allure tool. Now the Allure tool is a product and keyword research resource I use to help me identify what type of products are selling right now. And what it will do is that it will scan every single item on the first page and let me know from a data perspective what things are getting high results. Again, just giving you a rundown of everything here. I have the product name, I have the shop name here, the price, the favorites, I have the total sales, monthly sales, and total revenue. Now, one of the things I look at automatically is the total sales, not more so the monthly sales right now, but the total sales. And the reason why I look at the total sales is because this is a seasonal item. Total sales let me know if this product has done well in the previous year and it can do well possibly this year. Now, if you see something like this where this product has over, you know, 290, you know, sales in the last 30 days, then obviously this one is peaking off well and this probably will be one I want to target. But in our case today, I just want to go and see where are the wins, where are the trends, and how can I bring something to this marketplace that is doing well also. 
So from here, I want to plug out some of the best selling items. And from here, I don't want to recreate them, but I'm simply doing this to try and find a micro niche I can serve in. And so just as an example, we are going to focus on a retro Valentine's Day shirt. We want to jump back into the search bar with Etsy, see if there's any demand with other retro shirts. And then we want to create our own and bring this into the Etsy marketplace. Now, as a quick side note, you can actually confirm if this is a great item to sell and if it's in demand based upon three things. Yes, I am using Allura to get that behind the scenes data. But if you don't have Allura, three things I look for really to determine if this is a product worth spending some time on in regards to how I design things. Number one, I look and see, okay, does it have over 20 people in the cart? Over 20 people in the cart can be 21 people or it can be 100 people. We just don't know. But if this product has an indication of, okay, 20 plus people in the cart, that lets me know this product is in demand. Another thing I look for is the best seller's badge. Again, best seller's badge sometimes remain over a course of time like we have here. This item has had the highest sales volume over the past six months. Some items are best sellers, but may not be in demand right now because it just captured data over the past six months. But being that I have two things showing here, yes, a best seller's badge letting me know the sales volume has been high in the past six months, but I know it is also a high sales volume right now because right now over 20 people have it in the cart. And so that is a great indication about this product being in demand. And if finally, I go and look at the number of reviews. Again, this has 32 reviews for this product. Now, in my summation of just reviews, it takes about you know five to seven purchases for someone to leave a review. So you can do the math on that just to try to get some understanding about how many of these products have sold. But one of the things I like to go down to is to sort the reviews by not suggested, but by most recent. And here I like to go and see how many uh, reviews are left in a short time span. Now, the day of this recording is January 21st. And so the fact that I have a review of this product on January 20th lets me know someone recently purchased this and they left a review on this recently. Again, it's all about having a recent review letting me know that someone purchased this recently now if i go down into the next review and i see that you know someone also left a review on the same day then what does that tell me this product is in demand right now because someone has left a review multiple times for this product in the span of a couple of days go down again and what do we see january 20th so that lets me know this product is getting just not one sale a day but daily sales of multiple sales in one day because there's no days in between these reviews meaning that people have purchased this multiple times in one occasion and again i keep scrolling down and we have another january 20th so now that i know this product is in demand i want to go and do some more research into a retro valentine day shirt so now we have our micro niche we want to do some further research in we have a retro valentine's day shirt one of the first things i look at and see how many people are coming up for this level of competition in regards to results Fifty-two thousand listings now don't get too you know confused or deterred by that number because i have had multiple products with similar results show up on the first page because it's all about dialing in the right designs dialing in the right mock-ups and of course the right keywords where people can start landing on your product so don't be afraid of this number because you can't compete with a level of competition in regards to 52,000 listings however we do want to strive to get that number lower than that and one easy thing i can do before i even just do further research here is go in and just put either a person or a profession in the midst of this title here so retro valentine day shirt i see the level of results here 52 but if i just add a simple profession for instance teacher and i go and see the level of results that's coming up here now we drop down to about six thousand people or six thousand results coming up and i still see a lot of indications letting me know this is still in demand i see popular now badges here popular now popular now popular now badges here not even jumping to a lawyer to confirm this but just putting in a basic profession behind a micro niche is even taking this further down but then still have that level of demand where i'm still able to gain some sales some quick sales right now in this month in regards to selling these type of products so again i see bestseller popular now is just everywhere indicating this micro niche for specifically teachers that's profession is something that i know is selling well so anytime you go into the micro niche again and you feel like the love of competition is still high just add on a person or people and professions to the end of that and then you'll start finding some hidden gems in regards to certain items that are in demand so here's one product that i found that's yielding high results again getting immediate sales right now in the month and has been created 
in the past 30 days. But when I look at this, two things I look at primarily. Number one, I look at the information, again, the keywords that's being used for this product. And then I look at the design itself for inspiration to see what type of design is selling well. Now, before I jump into this and try to recreate this, one of the things I definitely want to do is plug this over into Canva so I can stay on track with what things are doing well. And then I want to merge over some pre-made designs from Creative Fabrica and then create my own unique design. So now that we are in Canva, one of the things I want to do to set up my t-shirt design space is to go to create a design. And I want to create a custom design that's going to fit a great pixel count for all of my t-shirts that I'm going to create. And so I want to stick to the t-shirt size or the canvas size 5,000 by 5,000 pixels as I see this to work well with keeping the high quality of all my designs. Even if I use them for different products like tote bags, mugs, hoodies, or sweatshirts, I know the pixel count is still going to be high and transferable to different products if I want to sell in that space. Now, one of the things I also like to do is bring over a grid from Canva so I can see multiple t-shirts in one space so I can get some more design inspiration from them. Now, the way I do that is go into elements. I'm gonna go all the way down to the bottom where I see grids. And from grids, I wanna to try to find one that's capturing four different blocks so I can put in four different type of pictures. Try to find the four grid here and add it to your canvas. Now, the reason why I have this is because when I jump back into Etsy, I want to grab a t-shirt design and plug it in here so I can stay focused on designs I know that are selling well. So from our research section we did earlier, I found a couple of t-shirts that are selling well. Again, I have these t-shirts here. Again, I don't wanna copy them, but I do wanna grab them over into Canva so I can look at them, learn from them, and then create my own designs from them. So one easy thing I like to do, especially if I'm selling multiple t-shirts in one space, which in this case, I encourage you to do so because the demand is so high. Instead of me just focusing on one type of t-shirt, I wanna actually copy all of these over into Canva so I can focus on them and then learn from each of them to create my own design. So from here, I want to right click and I want to copy image. I want to head back over to Canva and right here in the block, I want to hit paste. And what it would do is they will grab this image and I can now drop this over to one of the four blocks. Again, this helps me stay on track when I am creating my designs because I see everything that's working well right in Canva. I want to copy and paste this t-shirt design over to Canva as well, hit paste drop this in here and do this for the rest of my t-shirts now just as a side note if you know you are creating or going to create a bunch of products based upon this category one of the things i want to focus on is being a student of the product being a student of the niche and actually learn from all these items and keeping track with what things are doing well what i find a lot of people doing is that they try to create 20 30 40 50 products on one item but then when they hit like the 10th product they go to different design styles that are not even proven to work and so this helps me stay on track with things are doing well. And not only do I want to grab over the design, but I also want to grab over some of the keywords so I don't have to go back and do that research all over again. So one of the side notes I want to tell you about is just this note section. And one of the things I like to go do is grab all of the titles from my best selling products, copy them and simply just plug them in here so that when I am going to my listing phase on Etsy, I don't have to go back and try to research, you know, what product did I look at? What products are doing well? What is the key uh, phrase that I need to type in? What are the keywords that are on best selling items? I have all this information here so I can keep track with what I am selling, what things are doing well, and what keywords I need to use on my product when I actually upload this into Etsy. So again, everything I have here, I have all the keywords that I can pull from, extract from. I'm not going to copy their entire title, but I am going to grab some things that I know are doing well and then plug those keywords into my title because these things are what's proven to get these products traffic. So one of the spaces we're gonna use for us to find some pre-made designs we can use on our pre-on-demand product is Creative Fabrica. You can go up into the search bar, just type up retro t-shirt if you want. You can find a lot of results here if you wanna focus on teacher or whatever category you wanna sell in. In our case today, we definitely wanna go back and always check our designs to prove if this is something that is going to work as it works for other people. 
And so we want to focus on this type of t-shirt here that says love, love, love. But then we want to add in some of these retro type checkerboard backgrounds here, as well as adding in this particular word here, sweethearts or teaching sweethearts, as we know that is working well. And so the design I found was this one here. It resembles kind of what we have on this t-shirt, but it is a little difference. And this small difference can make the difference and actually have you stand out. We want to actually take this, change this, alter this and make this our own so we can still stay true to all of the designs elements we see that are selling well for others now just as a side note if you are using designs from creative fabrica and you just see this little section here commercial uses allowed that does mean you have to make some changes to this pre-made design to bring in your own value your own elements your own style and then you can utilize this on your print on demand product so in our case today we can't just copy this over to our print on demand product if it just has this little section here but we can use this to change and make our own and bring this into our print on demand product to sell on etsy so now that we have our designs uploaded into canva we would definitely want to start dragging over some things here i do have multiple versions of the design the png the svg and the jpeg version but in our case today we definitely want to work with the PNG version as this would give us the opportunity to remove some things from this image here. So automatically two things I see that I want to remove in this image is of course the bottom where it says all day, every day. So easy way to remove that is just to literally crop up and now that part is removed. But I definitely want to take out the letter O here and remove that and add maybe some retro type uh, smiley faces into this. It's really going to bring out the overall style. So from here, I want to go ahead and hit edit image. I want to go over to remove background. And what this would do is that it would give me the option to erase certain things out of the image. So I want to click erase. I want to size my brush accordingly. I see the little circle getting larger here. And I want to go in just erase this O because I want to add in something here. So I will hit complete, hit done, hit apply. And again, I have this set here for me to add certain things in. Now, when working with Canva, there are a ton of things you can use if you're using Canva Pro. That's what I'm using here. So now that we have that removed, we want to jump into Canva and find some extra elements we can add to this. Now, I am using Canva Pro, so I do have some things I can utilize for this particular design here. But they have a ton of free things you can use on the free version of Canva. So from here, I want to go to elements, type in a particular style or element I want to choose. I want to focus on a retro smiley face heart. So I want to scroll down and see if I can find some. Something that's going to work with my overall design and as I scroll down I see this particular element I want to use here I can go in here and just resize it by grabbing the edges to fit right into my design and I want to change the color of this to fit the overall color of the love here so I can go into the pink that I want to change go into the color tool use the pick tool pick out the red here and change that color and instead of having that black outline, I want to change that over to white. So now that I have this, I can just rotate this over a little bit and make this a little bit larger to fit the entire space. And there we have it. So again, that's an easy way for you to really customize designs and make them your own just by going and finding some more elements, removing some things in and adding your own unique design. Now, I do want to add some more things in here to fit my you know, data that I've seen work well, the retro style checkerboard in the bottom or in the shot here i want to add in some retro stars that we saw doing well and definitely add in that word sweethearts as that go in line with the teaching niche that we're serving in in regards to our design today now before we upload this into printify one of the things we want to do is definitely download this with the proper file size so we can upload this to our mock-up images and then utilize this on our printify account so we can connect this and sell this on our etsy shop so with that being said definitely make sure you want to title your particular product the right way so we have my sweetheart shirt and we want to go in here to the share area here go down to download and we want to hit png and you definitely want to hit transparent background so that it can remove all of the white that is in the image here i do have a couple of pages here because i do have my designs that i utilize here as well as my mock-up images i'm going to use when i drag this over from the design i'm going to download now but in our case today we just want to download page number one and again we want to set this to be a transparent background and we're going to hit download 
So now we have our entire design finished. And as I go down and look and see the other products that are doing well, I definitely want to see how does mine match up with that. I do have the retro font here added with the love that I know it's doing well. I have added in something just a little bit different from the smiley face that's regular here, but I added the smiley face with the hearts in here. I did bring over some of the checkerboard background here that I use on the bottom layer of my t-shirt. And I did add in the sweet hearts to add in that little phrase here. This is what I mean by trend combined or trend merging things that are doing well and adding some unique things in here to really strive to make this my own so now that we have our design downloaded we want to jump over to our download folder and upload this into canva once again just drag and drop our brand new design here and the reason for that is that we want to go ahead and utilize this design on our mock-up images we want to simply drag this over and resize this to fit in our overall design. So some of the things I look at before I even go and pick a mock-up is see what color t-shirt is doing well with the first thumbnail image. So in our case today, I definitely wanna have two different variations of shirts. I wanna have a bright color t-shirt as well as a dark color t-shirt. And I have the white here and they have the gray. And all I have to do is get my image, drag it over and resize this accordingly to fit on my particular mock-up and make sure it is lined up properly in the middle. And one of the things I also like to do here is just bring the transparency down a little bit because when these shirts are printed on the product, it is not going to come in the full color that we see here. So I wanna bring this down a little bit to try and resemble what the print is going to look like when someone purchases this. I like to keep it anywhere between 75 and even go as high as 95. But again, you just gotta play around with this to see what type of transparency number works. I want to copy this and paste this over to our same design here. I want to copy this and paste this over to our design here. And again, I have the same thing laid up on this t-shirt, but it's a little bit larger here because it is a different size mock-up. And again, I can go to transparent and make this a little bit lighter or build it up a little bit to be a little bit brighter. But I think our overall design works well. So this is great, easy way for you to make mock-ups with your designs right in Canva. And again, I did grab these uh, mock-ups from Etsy. And again, these work well, as well as mock-ups from Place It works well also when you're trying to do video mock-ups, which I also encourage you to check out as well. So now that our t-shirt is done and now that our mock-ups are done, we wanna head over to Printify and upload this to our product. Now, by this time, you should have already created your Printify account and integrated that over into Etsy as we did in the beginning of our video. Now we can go here and select a t-shirt we want to actually sell on Etsy. Now with my t-shirt shop on Etsy, I love selling the Bella Canvas 3001 series as this is a great product I hear from my customers with the softness of the t-shirt and the quality of the overall product. So I definitely want to encourage you to use this product as well. They have a large selection of print providers you can choose, but in my case today, I like going with Monster Digital as they do very well with the shipping of the product and the production time. So I definitely want to focus on this product here. And if I like all the color options as well as the size options, I have the price point and again, the average production time and the shipping cost, I can go ahead and hit start designing. And then it will bring me up to this page where I'm able to upload my product and start laying up my design on my t-shirt. In our case today, we definitely just want to add in our t-shirt color to our white design. I go into my devices and my download folder, and here is my overall design I want to upload to my t-shirt. Now I can just make this a little bit better by pushing this up to the top of the t-shirt. And if you want a preview of how your shirt is going to look, you can always hit preview through uh, Printify and you can see exactly how this t-shirt is going to look once it is printed out. Now, if you want to go in here and actually add a different color, you will go into colors here, pick whatever color you want to add. Again, we know that the heather gray or dark heather gray is actually something we want to sell. And so in our case today, I want to pick dark heather gray and I have my design here also. If you have a different variation you want to sell of your design, for instance, if you have like a brighter text version to fit on your dark color t-shirt, you would go in here to make specific design changes here. Again, you want to erase this and then add in whatever new design you want to add here for it to actually graft over. But in our case today, we do not have a different version of our t-shirt for our black color product. So everything we have here is going to work well for both the white version and the black version or the darker version product for our t 
t-shirt now if everything looks good here you can go ahead and save your design from here we can change the title of our product add in some descriptions here that i think will be well for just a basic template for us to utilize for other products we can add in some pricing variations as well as hide in store so we can add in our mock-ups a little bit later and from here i can go in here and just erase some of this because this is the default to all of the information in regards to this product you definitely want to add in your own description here that you can add in for your other products once you have created this one product listing here and you want to go down to pricing variations now one of the things i automatically like to do is increase my profits to about 70 percent because i know i am going to add in a discount a daily discount all of my products when i run this on etsy so i like having a daily sale because that enticed the buyer a little bit more and so i definitely want to edit the entire profit margin and i want to change this to 70 percent and again that percent increase is going to reflect when i run my daily sale so with my profit margin increased by 70 percent i'm still able to keep some great margins when i utilize my daily sales and this is going to help convert that shopper into a buyer with my shop now before we go ahead and publish this particular product here i definitely want to select hide in store and the reason why i want to do that is because i don't want this product just as it is with the basic mock-up and the basic title to be presented in my etsy shop i want this to go directly to my etsy draft so i can actually finish this listing so i can upload this properly into my store and so from here i want to hide in my store and hit publish and when i do this it is going to upload this to my etsy store but not necessarily publish this where it is visible but it will say this over into my draft section again for me to finalize my overall listing so being the fact that we have the status hidden is letting us know that our product is now in etsy in the draft section and there we can go ahead and finalize our overall list so now we have our product visible in our etsy shop but again this is under our draft section for us to finish our overall listing here we have all of our default mock-ups that we grab from printify we can change these out and add in our own mock-ups that we utilize in canva i have an option to add my video here and this is where you're able to go back into canva page and utilize all of the designs that we learned as well as the keywords that we grab here on the side we can add in all these keywords here that we grab from our best selling products and utilize some of these keywords in our title in our tags again the goal here is not to copy someone's exact title but definitely add in some keywords from this title add in some keywords from that title see which ones match up well because all of these keywords are actually driving traffic for this overall product we can scroll down to the bottom and select whatever shipping profile we have created by default Printify will have the shipping profile related to the t-shirt you have created in Printify. But again, you can go in and create your own profile for your shipping so that every single product is under the same price point you set for your t-shirt business. If you are using Etsy ads, you can go ahead and click this here. And again, if everything is dialed in and ready to go to list on your Etsy shop, you can go ahead and select publish as this will now be visible for you to sell on your Etsy shop. So here we have our entire product we have created in Canva with Printify merging over to Etsy. Again, we have our design here and our two forms of mock-ups with a bright color shirt and a dark color shirt. We do have all of our keywords and phrases added into our title here. And if I go down, I have all of my tags here as well. And I can find that using the Google extension tool Allura where I can actually check all of my tags and make sure they are there. Now, one thing to note here is that, yes, I do have a uh, particular discount here running on my product. This is what I was talking about earlier on, where it's okay to bump up your price and Printify as this shirt will sell for $30 with no discount. But I think running a discount on a daily basis will help you earn the click because some people only search things that are on sale and just having this badge with the timer on is a great way to entice a shopper to become a buyer and again they believe they are getting this at an amazing discount but for you you're just keeping your profit margins the way you always want them to be within that 30 percentile range so again this is how you're able to sell t-shirts online using printify with etsy following everything i taught you in this video from trend research to getting your product design keyed in and dialed into things that are proven to sell well getting all of the processes marked out when you are designing your product laying them up on amazing mock-ups and integrating them into Printify to move over to Etsy so that you can have a visible product in your store so that you are ready to make sales. So as you can see, creating your t-shirts for your print on demand business is really easy to do once you know the proper steps you need to take 
that's going to give you those results. Now, again, our main way of actually selling this is that integration between Etsy and Printify where you're able to list this product where shoppers can find it, purchase it, and therefore you get a profit. And as always, if you wanna check out Printify on your own, make sure you check out my links down in my description box below. It will give you more information about Printify for you to determine if this is best for your print on demand business. But as always, my friends, my name is Jay, and I will see you in the next video.